Lydia Thorpe is a prominent figure in Australian politics, known for her unwavering advocacy for Indigenous rights. Her journey began in 2017 when she made history as the first Indigenous woman elected to the Victorian State Parliament. Representing the Green Party, Thorpe quickly gained recognition for her passionate speeches and commitment to social justice. In 2020, Thorpe's political career reached new heights as she was elected as a senator for the Green Party in the federal government. Thorpe's political style is characterized by her directness and her willingness to challenge the status quo. She is not afraid to speak truth to power, even if it means courting controversy. Thorpe's decision to leave the Green Party in 2023 and become an independent senator surprised many. However, she remained steadfast in her commitment to Indigenous rights. The scene was set for a historic occasion to King Charles III on his first visit to Australia as monarch addressed the nation's parliament. However, the solemnity of the event was shattered by an unexpected protest. As the king began his speech, Senator Lydia Thorpe rose from her seat, her voice ringing out with accusations of genocide and demands for justice. Thorpe's actions sent shockwaves through the chamber. The king, visibly taken aback, paused briefly before continuing his address, his composure seemingly unshaken. Security personnel swiftly escorted Thorpe from the chamber, but not before her message had been delivered. Her protest ignited a firestorm of debate about Australia's colonial past and the treatment of its indigenous people. To understand the depth of Thorpe's protest, one must delve into the tumultuous history of indigenous Australians. For millennia, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples thrived as custodians of the land their cultures deeply intertwined with the natural world. However, the arrival of European colonizers in 1788 marked the beginning of a dark chapter. British colonization brought with it dispossession, violence and cultural destruction. Indigenous Australians were forcibly removed from their ancestral lands, their traditional ways of life disrupted and their languages and beliefs suppressed. At the heart of Thorpe's protest lies the call for a treaty a formal agreement between the Australian government and Indigenous Australians. Thorpe's unwavering stance on a treaty stems from her belief that true sovereignty in Australia rests with its First Nations people. Thorpe's use of the term genocide in her address to King Charles sparked intense debate. Critics argued that the term was inflammatory and historically inaccurate, while supporters maintained that it accurately reflected the atrocities committed against Indigenous Australians. Thorpe herself defended her choice of words, pointing to the systematic killing and displacement of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples during colonisation. The debate over the term genocide highlights the complexities of defining and addressing historical injustices. While there is no doubt that Indigenous Australians suffered immensely under colonial rule, the question of whether these acts constitute genocide remains a point of contention. Thorpe's actions, while controversial, have undoubtedly brought the issue of indigenous rights to the forefront of public consciousness. Whether or not one agrees with her methods, her passion and determination are undeniable. Thorpe's actions ignited a firestorm of reactions across Australia. The incident dominated headlines, sparked heated debates on social media and became a focal point for discussions about race, history and the future of the monarchy in Australia. Some condemned Thorpe's actions as disrespectful and inappropriate, particularly given the context of a royal visit. Critics accused her of grandstanding and of using the occasion for political point scoring. Others, however, applauded Thorpe's courage and commended her for speaking truth to power. They viewed her protest as a necessary act of resistance against ongoing colonialism and a powerful reminder of the injustices faced by Indigenous Australians. The incident exposed the deep divisions that exist within Australian society when it comes to Indigenous affairs. Thorpe's actions, while divisive, have undoubtedly forced a national conversation about these critical issues. The incident involving Lydia Thorpe and King Charles III represents a pivotal moment in Australia's ongoing journey towards reconciliation. It has brought to the forefront the unresolved issues of the past and the need for meaningful action to address the systemic inequalities that continue to plague Indigenous Australians. Thorpe's actions, while controversial, have ignited a national conversation about the legacy of colonisation, the importance of Indigenous voices, and the path towards a more just and equitable future. Her unwavering advocacy for Indigenous rights serves as a powerful reminder that true reconciliation requires more than symbolic gestures. It demands a fundamental shift in power dynamics and a genuine commitment to addressing historical wrongs. As Australia grapples with its past and charts a course for the future, 
the voices of Indigenous Australians like Lydia Thorpe will continue to be crucial in shaping the national dialogue. The road to reconciliation is long and arduous, but the events of that day in Parliament serve as a potent reminder that the journey must continue.